All right, let's make some of the best vehicles in Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. The first one is going to be a stupidly simple motorcycle. All you need is a small wheel, a steering stick, and a stabilizer. Yeah, this is almost kind of the dream because you want to make something that goes fast, that doesn't take a lot of resources, and is pretty quick to build. This is it. So yeah, you just stack them on top of each other. Unfortunately, you can see the problem with this design in that it's kind of annoying to get into and keep up right that the stabilizer doesn't activate until you turn the machine on. So you really quickly need to drop it, jump, and then press control. So it's just like, yeah, just XA really quick. And now we're zooming and we are getting some pretty good speed across the land barely costing us any battery power little little tricky on that control but yeah you just you just go fast you actually go surprisingly fast for a very light setup and the thing about building a vehicle for the depths that people keep telling me in the comment section but i keep ignoring is to use a light bloom seed or a bright bloom seed now the reason why i didn't do that for any of my builds is just out of ignorance and laziness that i'm like so what am I supposed to do? Like, do I throw the light bloom seed and then I'm able to grab it that way? Okay, you can't interact with it, so that means I have to like slap it on directly. Can I chop down the bright bloom? No, it's just kind of there. Maybe I should have done this with a small seed for testing. All right, what if I drop the seed, then grab it, then attach it? That seems like the play. Now the question is if it automatically activates when I get going. So hop up, press control. Nah, so I have to hit it. That seems kind of awkward because then it's going to start the vehicle. So I have to be careful about that. And we just left our fan behind. But now let's see if we can get a little bit extra out of this with the fan. All right, still working. Uh, oh, backing up. Oh, getting through. I hit a bomb plant we're okay and now we are taking off through the depths and yo that is that is a significant amount of light that makes me feel very bad about how tricky it was navigating the depths without putting a giant bright bloom seed on it it's 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 almost like the entire thing's lit up there's no darkness and I guess the extra secret is that what you can do if you're having a hard time getting in even though you just press buttons is that you hit recall on it so you can just jump up control it release the recall and then you're good to go now it does struggle like going uphill and that's what the bigger tires are for but those are slower but this thing just kind of zooms around the bright bloom is the most cracked part about this it's still faster than walking by far and it's a pretty efficient means of travel and you know, the mobility is not great, but you can still get through things pretty well. And it, it also gets through the gloom, no problem. Grove, a eh, little tricky, but you can cut yourself a line and then it's good. Yeah, this thing's pretty nice. I'm gonna say really good, actually. Let's give this like an 8.5 out of 10. Especially for the simplicity. And that means I need to upgrade my tried and true flying machine with some bright bloom. So one cart, one wing, three fans, three batteries, and the steering stick. You balance the wing on the cart, you make a standard flying machine, and the batteries are there to last as long as the durability on the flying machine. I messed up because I forgot to put the bright bloom seat on. Get on. And now we are ready to explore the depths in style so let's see how much light it I'm, I'm like looking ahead i'm like there's no way it's actually it's lighting up that much from a flying machine wow i i hated exploring the depths but again e even on this it's it's like the entire area is lit up and you already did the light route that's kind of cracked all right, so I waited until it exploded. We're just gonna pull all this stuff back out, rebuild it, and we're gonna see how the bright bloom seed works. Do I get to tag the seed? No, the seed breaks. Oh, so you have to like refresh it. Okay, it's not turbo busted. You can't reuse the bright bloom seed. Now, if that was the case, that'd be insane. So still good on like driving vehicles but when the wing expires you lose your seed unless you like you kind of build and plan around it i also have a more advanced flying machine design that uses carts wings balloons flame emitters and the reason why i have this is so i can go anywhere 
I can get as high as I need to and I can get as far as I need to or at least I can get a lot more distance until the balloons run out and the way this seems to work I don't know the exact mechanics but because you're not like stressing the glider or you're not directly gliding on it the durability of the wing actually lasts a lot longer but as you can see this wrecks your battery so it will be required to use large zoni charges with this However, you should have a large amount if you've been keeping up with my guides and content because I've been doing some depths guide, I've been doing some sky exploration guide, we are covering everything. So also if you end up enjoying the video, helps out anyway, don't forget to leave a like, share it with your friends, comment your thoughts down below, all of that other good stuff. It might not be the most efficient thing, but I think it looks super cool and we can get out to really anywhere with this. Now, if I'm making a best vehicle video, that means I also need to check other best vehicles. So, NASI made this. Best vehicle in the game, it can do everything. And it's also simple. Simplicity gets points, because if anyone can put it together at any time with few resources, I mean, you can find some steering sticks out in the wild, and the fan capsules are everywhere. Actually, you can get this super easy. You don't even need to go to the Sky Islands that you make it to the Hudson construction site and boom, you just get everything here. Now I will admit, I cheated a little bit and I already put it together because this is a very finely tuned machine. You have to put it together just right or it is not going to work. So you might have tried something like this and it was a complete disaster. That's because the angles and everything have to be right. And Nasi put it together like very specifically in the video. So I'm going to link that down below. And I think mine might be put together better, but that could just be like RNG and pixels and stuff. So the whole thing about this flying machine is that it can do everything and look at it take off. Like that's the point. You need to get the angle so it can go forward. And then like, yeah, you actually just have something that's effectively a bike or a car like just some kind of driving vehicle but if you need to get height you can get height on it and you can get a pretty good amount of height on it as well and when you think about it ignoring terrain means it's all terrain so we can just kind of fly over everything probably use it to navigate the sky islands really well does drain battery power so this gets the 10 out of 10 minus a 0.5 because it can be kind of expensive and if you just want to make like a large zonite charge thing you can make something that just goes way faster or does way more utility for the amount of time you get for like the endless energy on a large zonite charge i mean look how fast we're just moving through the map you can use this to clear the map super quick and just get from shrine to shrine tower to tower and just do whatever you need to be at the game and if you're not too far above the ground then yeah like it just kind of lands itself, it's fine. You let it charge up and it's still faster than anything else. Also ignore me being a complete noob and just face tanking a fireless Alphos. But yo, we made it super mega far on just two of my full battery charges. Now I have upgraded a little bit, but still like that's some distance and pretty much about how you look at it, that's going to recharge faster than like the distance Link could have traveled possibly with a horse eh, now nah, depending on horse speed but yeah with this like you also get the terrain you can just kind of explore you this is this is pretty cracked i would not be surprised if this gets like introduced in a speed run of, in some capacity all right this gets so much of my seal of approval also because i feel like i pieced it together just perfectly to be saved as a favorite man that's a vehicle i wish i knew about sooner uploaded four days ago everyone's seen it but me i try to discover things on my own i don't watch other people's videos and i've never stolen anyone else's content and i even prefer not using someone else's thing unless it's just the best and this gets my stamp of yeah it's best vehicle in the game it's gotta be right 